Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in this video, we're gonna settle the debate about what is the correct direction to install your outlets, whether or not you put the ground tab facing upward or downward. This is a somewhat recent argument because until 1956, outlets looked like this. They didn't even have the ground tab, so there was no up or down. How did this practice even start up? Well, it all began in the 1990s with a group of electricians at a national conference, but these weren't just regular electrical workers. These guys worked in healthcare. Now, in hospitals, outlets get beat up all the time, so they most exclusively use metal plates inside patient rooms. And because those conductive metal wall plates in hospitals sometimes get loose, the screw will fall out and the plate can fall right on the cord. One hospital in particular had the idea of reversing the way they put their outlets in. This would prevent the plate from causing a short circuit. Now in a hospital, this is critically important because you might be running a ventilator or some type of a heart monitor and you don't want to lose power to that equipment. And while you might think this sounds like a brilliant idea, it really wasn't because it only solved that one problem. To understand why this practice is so dangerous, we need to know a little bit about how an electric circuit works. On every plug, you're gonna have three prongs. You've got the ground, of course, and then you've got a hot and a neutral. To create a short circuit, you need to connect either the hot to the neutral or the hot to the ground. However, you can actually complete the circuit with your own body. If you were to touch the hot lead on a plug and then be standing in a pool of water on the floor or lean against a metal appliance, your body would complete the circuit. So let's do a real test to see exactly what happens by putting the ground outlet upward versus downward. First, let's start off with the standard electric outlet setup. I've removed that center screw in the middle, and as you can see, I have a stainless steel wall plate that is completely conductive. Both of those prongs are level, so as soon as the plate falls, it has no problem creating the short circuit, allowing the circuit breaker to interrupt the connection and provide a safe situation. The outlet and the plate do get a bit of char in them, but now we'll flip that outlet upside down with the ground facing upward and repeat our test. Once the plate falls, of course, it gets hooked onto that top facing ground prong, and you can see that it immediately begins a sort of balancing act. And you might think this is a safer situation, except there's a real problem. That circuit breaker was never tripped because it didn't create a short circuit. Instead, what we've got here is a ticking time bomb. That outlet is completely energized. If someone reaching behind a better piece of furniture was to touch it and eventually connected the plate to either the hot or the neutral, they would then create a short circuit within the outlet. Or even worse, you probably guessed it. Once you're touching that plate with your hand, you could be part of the circuit, getting electrocuted or even killed. So at this point, which one do you think is safer? I would personally rather have the plate short the circuit immediately tripping the breaker, but even if you ignore these tests, there's a greater reason that you never want to put that ground facing upward, and that's the design of electric plugs. They're typically oriented downward, putting all of the tension on the wire so that you're not getting any strain. If you reverse these, which will of course work electrically, you will eventually tear the wire's insulation, and again, you could cause a short circuit or other problems. But prepare yourself for the biggest shock of all. The National Electric Code has no information on what is the correct orientation for an outlet. In fact, you can install outlets five different ways. You can of course install them on a wall with the ground facing up. The second method is to put the ground facing down. You can install outlets on a ceiling, in places like garage door openers. Additionally, you can install an outlet on the floor for things like table lamps. And finally, one of my favorites is to install outlets sideways. This works really well in tight situations, in kitchen counters and backsplashes, and it doesn't matter whether the ground is facing right or left. But the bottom line is if you're going to install outlets in a wall, I would personally never recommend putting that ground facing upwards. In addition to the fact you're not getting any kind of safety benefit, it's gonna cause you more troubles with cables and plugs getting in the way. I hope you found this video interesting, possibly entertaining. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.